This video we're going to cover a brief introduction to the process of coagulation. Now what you've got inside a typical commercial swimming pool sand filter or recycled glass is you've got either um, glass particles or sand that are somewhere in the region of 0 0.5 to 1.5 millimeters in diameter and within this within the filter vessel these grains uh, of sand or, or glass um, they nestle together and what because they're irregularly irregularly shaped you've got these gaps between the the individual grains these are referred to as pores and the way that filtration works or one of the ways in which filtration works is via mechanical straining so what happens is water pool water unfiltered gets passed via the circulation pumps through the filter vessels and it gets forced through the sand bed um, so it goes it, it goes through this um, media this this uh, bed of sand through the gaps between the sand grains or the pores. Now, in a typical commercial swimming pool filter, the, the size, the gaps uh, that get created, the pores, they're gonna be in the region of 50 to 70 microns in width. So a micron is a thousandth of a millimeter. So what we're talking about here is between 50 and 70 thousandths of a millimeter is the gap through which water has to pass through to get through the filter. So it's pretty small, but it's all relative really, isn't it? So for example, uh, Cryptosporidia, oocysts, they are very much smaller than the gaps uh, or the pores that we're talking about here. Um, they're, they, well it varies but they can be anywhere between uh, 3 to 6 microns in diameter so they're way way smaller than the, the size of the pores through which water is passing through. This is where coagulation comes in because what coagulants do is they're substances that get added to the uh, pool circulation system the best way is to inject them continuously uh, at a very low dose rate directly into the uh, circulation system at some point prior to filtration but after the circulation pumps. One of the most commonly used chemicals is called polyaluminium chloride or PAC for short. That gets injected into the pipework and it starts to mix together with the, the pore water as it makes its way through that part of the system. Now what happens is coagulants, and I'll just mention here that there are a few terms um, that generally mean the same thing. There's coagulants, or you might hear them referred to as flocculants. Um, what they do is they mix with the pore water and they start to bind together very small particles that are within the swimming pool water, such as, uh, if there are any present, these cryptosporidia oocysts. But they'll, they'll, they'll coagulate lots, uh, I mean bacteria, uh, suspended um, physical pollution, um, it, will, it will coagulate or conglomerate or flocculate it all means the same thing generally. It'll all, it'll all start binding this stuff together to form flocks that are bigger in terms of size so that they will become trapped in the filtration media in between the, the grains of sand. Uh, whereas without the, uh, those flocks being formed, these items of pollution would be able to pass right the way through. So the reason that coagulation is so important is that 
it, it's particularly relevant to Cryptosporidia because as we cover in another video that I'll link to here, Cryptosporidia is not killed by chlorine. So the only, really the only way to get rid of it or deal with a suspected infestation of Cryptosporidia into the, into the pool is to filter it out because you, chlorine is not going to make any difference. It won't help. It, chlorine will kill lots of other different types of um, pollution like bacteria. It'll deal with that, but it won't deal with the Cryptosporidium. So filtration is your, your only effective way of dealing with it. But the thing is, without coagulation, without that process being in place, you're not going to be able to filter them out effectively either. So you can't kill it by chlorine and without coagulation you can't filter it out. So it's absolutely essential that a commercial swimming pool, if it hasn't already got a coagulant dosing system in place, is to get one in place. The thing to note with uh, coagulation, uh, especially as it relates to commercial swimming pools, is that the coagulant does need to be dosed in very small quantities on a continual basis. So it's a 24-7 um, operation. It's not something that you should be looking at doing reactively. So waiting for somebody to um, introduce cryptosporidium into the pool and then trying to add a coagulant to help the filters get rid of it, that won't work. Uh, what you need is to get the coagulant process happening proactively so it's there all the time so that if or when you do suspect that there is cryptosporidium in your pool water, your filters have already got the ability to be able to filter it out because you've already got the coagulant being dosed into the system.